Hey everybody, welcome to HomeRecordingMadeEasy.com, VisionRecordingStudios.com, and here on my YouTube channel. And today we're going to do a quick uh, little comparison um, between three different types, or actually four different types of saturation or tape emulation plugins on our master bus on a fully mixed track, just so you can kind of see the difference between these uh, plugins and um, listen to the differences for yourself. So I get lots of questions about this, what kind of tape machine plugins do I use, or analog saturation plugins do I use on my master bus so I figured I'd show you the ones that I own and we'll compare them on the same mix and you can decide for yourself which one you like and if you want to go out and demo it so on and so forth so um, on this particular mix which happens to be the mix that we're using for um, October 2015 quick mix this is shine the light by Jackson Price if you haven't checked that out go out to the website and check out the uh, quick mix series for October if you dig this song. So um, this week we're going to take a look at these uh, four tape saturation plugins and this again is all on the master bus. This is a fully mixed track that is done um, and I'm just going to throw these on the master bus so you can kind of hear the difference. So this is the Ampex um, uh, AR-102, ATR, excuse me, 102 by Universal Audio. This was the tape emulation plugin that I used on the mix itself for the quick mix series. Um, and this is a great uh, tape emulation um, of a mastering um, tape machine. Um, only can get this if you have the Universal Audio system. This is a wonderful plugin, pretty expensive from a cost standpoint at the recording of this video. If you're buying it when it's not on sale, I believe it runs about $349 US. So keep that in mind. Um, we're also going to take a look at, I'll pin this and move it over here. We're going to take a look at another one of my favorites. We're going to take a look at the uh, Slate Digital VTM, the virtual tape machine. Um, this is another uh, wonderful plugin. Um, this plugin probably runs around $149, again, um, at the taping of this uh, video here. Let's move this over here. And then we're also going to take a look at um, the Kramer uh, tape, which is uh, probably the older of the th of the three or of the four uh, plugins that we're going to look at today. This one's been around probably the longest or maybe the... Maybe the Universal Audio one's been around a while as well. The Slate Digital one's more of a newer one, a newer release. Uh, this is the Kramer Master Tape. This is an emulation of a tape machine that has tubes in it, um, which is, gives a little bit of a different sound characteristics. We're going to take a look at that. And then last but not least, we're going to kind of compare those three to the um, SoftTube uh, Saturator, which is a free plugin you can get when you have PreSonus Studio One, uh, which we're looking at here today. So um, the difference is this, is this is supposed to emulate tape, but it's not a tape emulation plugin, if that makes sense. Um, and we'll just we'll put this on the mix and we'll kind of compare this as well. So those are the four kind of tape or analog saturated or saturation type plugins we're going to take a look at. So as you can see, all these tape machines are now turned off. All these plugins are off. Okay, the blue light meaning that they're on. Oops. Uh, when they're black or darkened out, it means that they're off. Okay, so these are off right now. Let's just play back this section of the music. Again, this is a fully mixed track. Um, that's finished without any tape saturation on the master bus. So take a quick little listen to this section of music. Okay, so that's with no tape emulation at all on the master bus. Now keep in mind throughout this track, there is tape machine or ta a tape machine plug-in on every one of these tracks. And then this particular mix, I use the virtual tape machine um, on each individual track. So keep that in mind. So we're just taking a look at tape only on the master bus, okay? So now let's, let's, let's first start with the uh, universal audio. Okay, ATR-102, I'm gonna start playing back that section of music and I'm gonna kick this in. Now keep in mind between all the tape machines here, where the controls were similar, I tried to use the same exact setting. So for example, I'm using the 456 tape type on the Ampex, which is the same I'm using on the um, Slate Digital. Um, on the Kramer Master Tape, you really don't have that choice of tape type so much. Um, but I tried to make sure everything was the same as much as possible. I'm viewing everything at 15 nips per second or 15 inches per second on all the tape machines. That's universal. And I'm using on two of the tape machines, as I said, the 456 tape. Um, I have the bias set to normal on all of them and we're using half inch tape on all of them. Okay, so keep that in mind. You'll also see on the UV meters that we're hitting the tape on all these machines 
about the same amount. We're getting close, getting up towards the zero dB mark. We're hitting the tape fairly good to get some nice, uh, some nice signal pushed into the tape machine. So keep that in mind as well. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to play this back and then I'm going to turn this on and you're going to hear it go. And we'll uh, take a listen to what the ART 102 does to this mix. Okay, now by hitting the through button on this, it's just going to uh, going to bypass the tape section of the plugin. So just keep that in mind instead of shutting it on and off. So let's all I'll, I'll buy I'll go from through to record, um, back and forth so you can hear the difference. It repairs Okay, so hopefully you can hear the change there. If you're listening to this on a good set of headphones or studio monitors, you should be able to hear that the this particular tape machine um, really opens up the mid upper mid range and top end that brings a nice sparkle and a nice warmth to the signal. So let's uh, shut this one off now and let's take a look at the um, the Slate Digital Virtual Tape Machine. And again, we're using a normal bias 450 the FG456 tape on 15 nips per second on the half inch mode. Okay. So let's listen to the same uh, bit of music and I will turn it on. I will just turn it on and off here with the toggle switch. Okay, so the virtual tape machine, again, different sound characteristic than the Universal Audio. To me, this tape machine has a little bit more bottom end to it and a little bit more mid-range. It does warm up the top end, but it's not as bright sounding as the Universal Audio plug-in, to my ears. Again, we're using the same tape speed, same tape type, and a normal bias. And again, you can tweak all these plugins to death to get them to sound a little bit different. But it definitely adds a warmth and a nice character to the to the track it almost seems like the track kind of falls apart when there's no tape machine applied here so that's the the slate digital so now let's bypass that and let's turn on the kramer tape and let's see what we got going on with kramer so we'll start with it off and i'll kick it in Now in this tape machine, by turning off the uh, the input, the monitor section here, you're really bypassing the tube section of this particular tape machine emulation. So you're still running the signal through the circuitry, but bypassing the tube section, which kind of is the tubes, is what gives it kind of that nice, warm, smooth top end sparkle. So listen to that. So I'll turn this on and off. 
um, a couple of times so you can hear what it does. And then I'll also just bypass the tape machine altogether here using the bypass uh, button. Although you'll see the meter still moving, it'll it'll it will bypass the effect of the uh, the tape machine here. So let's start with this on, and I'll turn this on and off a few times. So when you just keep when you just bypass the entire plug-in on and off, it seems like it's a lot more subtle to my ears than say the virtual tape machine by Slate Digital, or even the Universal Audio plugin for that matter. But by taking it in and out of the uh, tube circuit here, um, you can definitely hear the high end start to fall off a little bit, and it gets a little bit more, a um, little less bright uh, by bypassing the tube section. So that's just again, it sounds a little different. Um, and now lastly, we're going to take a quick listen to the saturator knob uh, by Softube, which comes free with PreSonus Studio One. Now the thing I, this is not a tape emulator, although I guess some would say that it is. But what I don't like about this plugin is that the more you turn up the saturation, obviously the louder the signal gets, but there's no way to compensate by turning down the output. So the signal just gets louder. Um, and that kind of is a false sense of security to my ears as far as when, you know, you think you hear something louder, you think it's better. Where on the, all the other tape machines that we looked at, um, I adjusted the input. If I boosted up the input to drive more signal into the plug-in, I compensated by turning down the output so the before and after volume are the same. You can't get that with the soft tube, but I'm going to let us take a listen to it anyway. And I'll dial it up a little bit. Not too much though, so if you're wearing headphones uh, especially, turn down your volume just a little bit here. I don't want to blow out your ears. I'm going to try to not blow out mine. But we also have three different uh, saturation types, a high, a neutral, and a low. And I'm keeping it a neutral, and I'll flip between these so you can just hear the difference of what this does. Now, this will add some some grit, and it'll add a little bit of, um, you know, analogness, if you will, um, but it also adds volume. And so the way to compensate for that is you, you would turn down, if it's the last uh, plug-in in your chain, uh, which it is for me, I could go ahead and I could turn down my master volume to kind of compensate for it. And I'll try to do that to see if we can kind of hear um, before and after with the relatively the same volume. But let's start with it off and here's what it sounds like. Um, and we'll dial it in. You let go when even though your life's growing cold Despite whatever you can do It repairs, it repairs itself, repairs itself by So again, it adds a lot. It adds a lot more gain, obviously, because you're turning up. You it, it, you can't compensate uh, for the um, for the increase in pushing signal into the plug-in, which I don't like about this. But let's let's go between the low, neutral, and high on this uh, saturation type, just so you can hear the difference. Ooh, yeah. Oh, 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 
So I tend to like the neutral setting a little bit better because it doesn't hype the lows or the highs. It kind of stays neutral, meaning hence the word neutral. Um, this is a great plugin, uh, it, being that it's free. And if you don't have the budget or have any other tape emulators, this would be a good substitute um, for using just stock plugins, and that's totally fine. Just keep in mind that when you dial in, the more saturation that you dial in, you have to turn down your output fader um, to compensate so you're not tricking your ears into thinking loud is better. And, you know, I would use this very sparingly. Once you get beyond maybe this point, maybe the 9, 10 o'clock point, you start to run into clipping and distortion. That, um, And to just keep things so it just kind of adds a little bit of special sauce, I would keep this right around the 9 o'clock, you know, 7 to 9 o'clock range myself. Okay, so that's the soft tube, um, the saturator, which, again, comes free with PreSona Studio One. On, on their website, you can go out and download it. So now what I'd like to do quickly, and we'll end this video, is maybe we can bring all these plugins up on the screen, uh, and we'll pin it and see if I can, um, you know, just bypass one at a time and see if we can just kind of go from maybe not the soft tube saturator because of the volume difference here. That's going to kind of throw us off. But between these three tape machines, these are three competing tape machines, and there's others on the market. But these are the three of the of some of the more popular ones. So we'll start off with the, um, I will turn them all on and then put them in bypass mode here. Um, we'll start off with, say, the universal. Or we'll start off with the Kramer. We'll go left to right here. We'll go from Kramer. I'm going to try to get them all on the screen for you guys here. We're going to go from Kramer. I guess I can kind of bring this down here <laughs> as best I can. So we're going to go from the Kramer to the Slate Digital to the... Um, to the universal audio plugin and we'll cycle around a little bit and just turn them on and off just so you can hear the difference. We'll start with the Kramer and then I'll bypass one, go to the other one. Okay, so there's the differences between the three main uh, tape machines that I have, the Kramer Master Tape, the Slate Digital Virtual Tape Machine, and the Universal Audio ATR-102. Um, I think they all sound great. They all sound a little bit different from each other. Which one do you like best? Leave a comment below and let me know. For this particular mix, I use the uh, ATR-102. But now after listening to these side by side, I might have chose the Kramer Master Tape. So it's one of those things where um, there's really no right or wrong. It's whatever you prefer. Um, however, um, I would prefer some tape emulation than none at all so once again if we were to just uh, turn off as we fade out of this video I will just I'll stick with say the Kramer master tape here and we'll shut off all the other ones the other the other two we'll just stick with the Kramer for now and I'll just turn that on and off so you go from no tape emulation to some tape emulation and again hearing what tape can do and now keep in mind again that there's a tape machine on every single one of these tracks but this is just on the master bus but just hear how it adds some warmth and some character and some nice analog vibe and that's really what tape will do for you so 
will fade out of this video now and I'll just bypass this on and off. But for more uh, mixing tips, tricks, concepts, training, so on and so forth, head out to homerecordingmadeeasy.com. And for more about me and my mastering, mixing and mastering services, excuse me, you can head out to visionrecordingstudios.com. And until next time, this is Dave with homerecordingmadeeasy.com and I will talk to you all soon. Take care.